October 7 of the infinity. But in second case, there are a finite number of October of 7, October of 7. Some finite number of 7s are there. So how I can find out the solution? Here, maybe any number, like 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, whatever may be the number. And the solution will be like this. In infinite series, whatever the number are given, the same number will be the solution. Then let's solve it. Uh, first put x, this total function, x equal to this total function, now squaring both sides. This is, it comes around x square equal to 7x. So x equal to 7, which is the required answer. But in second case, some finite numbers are there. Whatever might be the number, it doesn't matter. First put a 2 over here. Then count how many numbers are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 number of 7s are there. So put 2 to the power 6. That is 2 into 2 into 2. 6 times. So the answer comes around 64. Put the 64 in denominator. And in numerator, numerator, 64 minus 1. It comes around 63 upon 64. So the answer will be whatever the number is given same number to the power this one 63 upon 64 so the type of question look sometimes the question with the square root is additive or subtractive type in that case if the given number is product of two consecutive number then how we can find out its solution look in this first case root over of 30 plus root over of 30 up to infinity in the second case, root over of 7 to minus root over of 7 to up to infinity. Let's find out its solution. Look, this is root over of 30 and positive symbols are there. Only positive symbols are there. And 30 is the product of 5 and 6. Where are 5 and 6 are two consecutive numbers. The positive symbols are there. Then the larger one will be the answer. If negative sign, uh, again some question may be arises. Uh, suppose root over of 30 minus root over of 30 then in that case if negative symbols are there uh, then 5 will be the answer similarly in the second case this is root over of 72 minus root over of 72 up to infinity then 72 is the product of 8 and 9 and there are only negative symbols are there that's why the smaller one is the answer so in the next variation of square root series question if the given number is not the product of any two numbers, then how we can find out its solution? Here in the first case, root over of 17 plus root over of 17 plus up to infinity. But in second case, root over of 13 minus root over of 13 up to infinity. Then how we can find out its solution? Here, 17 is not the product of any two consecutive number. Simply, the trick is root over of 4a plus 1, the positive symbols are there. So, plus 1 should be added here. Again, denominator 2 will be there. Here, A is whatever the number is given. So, here A equal to 17. And uh, the answer will be like this. 4 into 17 plus 1. Again, this plus 1 upon 2. So, answer comes around root over 69 plus 1 upon 2. But in the second case, same. 4A plus 1 root over 4A plus 1 root over. The negative symbols are there. Minus 1 upon 2. Again here a equal to 13, whatever the number is given and the answer will be like this, 4 into 13 plus 1, minus 1, the negative symbols are there and the final answer comes around root over of 53 minus 1 upon 2. This is the required answer. So if the question have both positive and negative symbols are there, then how we can solve it? Look here, Pos uh, root over of 6 plus root over of 6 minus plus minus plus minus so on up to infinity but in this second case uh, root over of 11 minus root over of 11 plus minus plus minus plus up to infinity how we can find out its solution look this uh, uh, so the trick is root over of 4a minus 3 so this is first there is positive symbol this is plus 1 upon 2 though only 6 are present over here so here a equal to 6 then the answer will be like this root over of 4 into 6 minus 3 plus 1 upon 2 so the final answer will be root over of 21 plus 1 upon 2 uh, but in the second case here 4a minus 3 4a minus 3 root over but here plus 1 is there due to its uh, here the first position positive symbol is here but in this second case 
the negative symbol is here so one more minus one will be added here so the answer comes around root over 41 minus 1 upon 2 so type 7 also uh, finite number of consecutive number squares or q is given then how we can find out its solution uh, here in first case 6 square plus 7 square up to 20 square but in the second case 6 q 7 q up to 20 q then how we can find out its solution we already know that first sum of all the n number of elements will be like this n whole into n plus 1 upon 2 if we find out the square uh, summation of square of the number then the formula will be like this n whole into n plus 1 2 n plus 1 upon 6 similarly we can find out the cube summation of cube of numbers will be like this so our first question it means our first case can be calculated from this equation again the second question second case question can be solved, uh, solved out from this uh, equation number 2 so first uh, question is 6 square plus 7 square up to 20 square so I can uh, it can be written as 1 square plus 2 square plus up to 20 square minus 1 square plus 2 square up to 5 square so from equation number 1 it can be written as n whole into n plus 1 so 20 is here n equal to 20 20 into 21 into 2 into 20 plus 1 2 n plus 1 Similarly, here 1 square, 2 square up to 5 square and the answer comes around 2815. Similarly, for 1 cube, 2 cube, this is uh, if 1 plus 2 plus 3 is comes around n whole into n plus 1 upon 2, then 1 cube plus 2 cube, 3 cube up to n cube, it comes around the square of this term, square of this term. So, the answer will be like this, n whole into n plus 1 upon 2 square, n, here n is 20 into n plus 1 20 plus 1 upon 2 square minus of course uh, here n equal to 5 5 into 5 plus 1 upon 2 square so it comes around 43875 so in type 8 if the summation of square of all the odd numbers or even numbers is given then how we can solve it look here in first case 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square up to 19 n square here only odd numbers are there but in the second case only even numbers are there how we, then how we can solve it for both the question the formula will be like this n whole into n plus 1 whole into n plus 2 upon 6 here only odd numbers are there and n equal to 99 it means so the summation will be like this 99 n into 99 plus 1 into 99 plus 2 upon 6 so the answer comes around 1 triple 6 5 0 similarly for second case here n equal to 100 and only even numbers are there so 100 into 100 minus 1 sorry 100 plus 1 into 100 plus 2 upon 6 so the answer comes around 171700 so in type 9 type 9 question is very much essential for any competitive exam as you will see only phase 1 to 2 such questions Look here 2.99, 7.01, 3.002, 4.998 minus 6 equal to how much? We already have listened this Bodmas term from our childhood, but there is one more B should be added here. This is Vornaculum, B is the bracket of division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. So this is 3 into 7, 3, 5, 6. Though uh, division symbol is here, so step 1 will be like this so it comes around 7 plus 5 minus 6 this is 12 minus 6 so step 3 is 6 and 6 is the required answer so in type 10 look you might have used this relation everywhere in mathematics without even thinking for a second it has very simple ex explanation behind this uh, look this is s to the power 0 equal to 1 n to the power 0 equal to 1 it means anything to the power 0 equal to 1 my question is why let's solve it suppose h to the power 5 equal to ax into x into x 5 times similarly h to the power n equal to ax multiplied by x multiplied by x up to n times then it can be written as h to the power n then this whole term will be uh, it comes to this denominator plus equal to 1 
this implies s to the power n equal to s to the power s to the power n upon s to the power n equal to 1 n minus n equal to 1 this implies s to the power 0 equal to 1 so please like this video for more such videos subscribe my channel and if you think your friends get benefited from this then please share with them thank you thank you very much